Get yourself really settled and comfortable. Notice your whole body. And every morning or every day when we come to a practice, either this one or a different practice, we really notice over time how nothing that's going on in the mind or the body is, is permanent. Some days are really calm and peaceful. Other days are chaotic or we have compulsive thinking or something like that. And that when we have something going on, some kind of a threat, then it's really natural for ourselves to be charged up. We experience threat through the nervous system, through the body. And so that's something that we can just really notice and notice that that's the way it works. So when we settle into a practice and we have some kind of worry or anxiety going on, then we can really feel that in the body. And even though it's not permanent, it can feel pretty long lasting. A lot of these patterns that developed the contractions, the tightness in our body that developed when we were a lot younger, they're not here every moment of every day, but a lot of them can be quite well-established patterns and habits in the body and in the mind. So part of what we're doing as we come into a practice is to acknowledge and to notice what is it that's going on right now? How do I feel in my whole system, my body, the physical body, the tightness in your jaw, your neck or shoulders? It's partly physical, it's partly energetic, it's a nervous system response often. And sometimes we really have access to our breath than when we start to breathe with these deep, deeper, smoother breaths. Our system calms down quite quickly. And other times that doesn't really do the trick, not right at the beginning anyway. So we might notice it's a bit difficult to tune into the breath right away. So these practices are really inclusive and welcoming without judging ourselves. And there is sometimes a natural frustration of I wish I felt calmer, but without letting our mind get too involved in that. Keep pulling your mind back and let your mind rest as much as possible for you right now. So notice what's going on in your body. Notice what's going on in the energy. Can you feel your usual spots where you hold tension? Are they kind of relaxed? Are they quite tense? And just for a couple of minutes, let's really focus in on one of those spots. So sometimes it's the forehead, it's the jaw, the neck or shoulders, the stomach. Those are kind of common places, the chest as well. So take a couple of deep breaths and notice what's going on. Where is your attention being drawn? It's a place that's tight in your body that you could really focus on for a moment. There's kind of a domino effect when we relax one, the other ones tend to soften too. As you're breathing out, notice that you could soften the tension a bit. If you've got your teeth clenched, you could make a bit of space between your upper jaw and lower jaw, move your jaw around. If it's your shoulders, you could move them up and then let them release down. Let them get heavy and be really well supported by the chair or the floor. If it's your belly, you might really focus on softening all the muscles around the stomach area as you breathe out.
and see if no matter what's going on in your mind, if you could maintain your awareness on whatever it is that you're working with more often than not. So if it's your belly, that's an interesting place to focus because we have the movement of our body with the breath in that area. So it's not still, it is moving. And the breath has a, a rhythm. There's something to watch and to observe with the breath. As we breathe in, the muscles, the muscle fibers lengthen. As we breathe out, they come back into a resting, a shorter muscle fiber. Often the breath is very anchoring. Breath awareness is something that we can use to anchor our attention away from catastrophic thoughts and into whatever it is that's going on in the body right now. The breath is a wonderful tool because there's a little bit more going on. Work with whatever makes sense for you right now. You're just breathing in and then as you breathe out, let everything soften. And if you're working with something like the shoulders or your jaw, still be aware of your breath. And as you breathe out, align yourself with that natural tendency in the body to soften as we breathe out. Notice your breath. See if you could allow your breath to be smooth and become calmer and let the breath steady your mind. Breathing in, keep your attention really focused on that same area. But you don't kind of gather more attention on the inhale. And then as you breathe out, you could relax a little bit more. Let it soften a bit more. Keep noticing where the mind is going. If there's any kind of worry going on, whether it's our health, our job, somebody we care about, the state of the world, there's all kinds of things that happen that are alarming. Very, very naturally, we have fear and anxiety about those things. And right now, we're doing a resting practice which ultimately makes us stronger, more resilient, more able to handle whatever it is that's coming up. Worrying about something is so counterproductive and so common. We all do that. But like any habit that's not actually helpful, it's a good idea to work with it. So to notice when it's happening. And just for this, time each day to let go of worry and let yourself really focus in on your body and on resting.
And each time your mind goes somewhere else, we just very gently bring it back. There's no need at all for condemning ourselves or thinking we should be having a different experience than what we are. That leads to so much frustration. It's the human mechanism to worry and to tighten up when there's any kind of a thread. And then we let go into relaxing and breathing and we give ourselves a rest from whatever it is that we need to deal with later. So we can come to it stronger and more resilient. Notice the whole back of your body and notice if there's any kind of edginess or antsiness or kind of wanting to move forward or move into action. Oftentimes it's hard to rest because we feel like we have too much to do. There's too much else going on. It's not easy to really bring ourselves back and just rest. So if that's the case, if there's any kind of energy in the limbs, in the arms or the legs, bring your attention to the back of your hands, the back of your arms, and notice your shoulder joint from the front of your shoulder into the back, the whole area in between your shoulder blades, up into your neck. And reassure yourself that actually right now, it's okay to rest. There's nothing that we have to do. We're doing the most important thing we could right now. We're tuning in and we're resting. We're letting our body relax. We're giving our brain a break from any figuring it out or worrying or anything like that. Just keep coming back to resting. Notice the back of the neck and shoulders. Let your shoulders be really heavy. So if you're sitting, they're moving away from your ears. And if you're supported through your back body, let them really settle into that support. And notice all the way down through your lower back, through behind your hips, to the back of your legs. Right now we're not moving about in the world, so we could let our legs relax too. You might wanna stretch them or move them around a bit. And if you have the urge to do that, let's just go ahead and do that. And then see if they would settle more comfortably. You might even stretch out your arms and your legs, let your whole body stretch. And then relax again. Hmm. And then notice the one place in your body where it might be good to focus again for a little while. It might be something that's tight, like there might be a tightness through the back of your neck and shoulders. And as you breathe out, you could let that soften. Each time you breathe out, it could relax more. Or your attention might be drawn to something that's really quiet and still. Maybe it's your heart center. Maybe it's a subtle sensation of breath in the nostrils.
And then let's work a little bit with the breath more directly. As you're breathing in, notice how long your breath is, if you're counting to three or four, whatever it might be. And as you're breathing out, see if you can have the out breath be about the same length, but without any effort at all. We're just allowing this to happen. We're relaxing the muscles of the stomach and the chest. We're bringing our intention to the breath that it's gonna be continuous and smooth about the same length. If you like to use that universal sound, the mantra so hum, you could allow that to flow in your mind as well. It's very steadying for the mind as you're inhaling. Hearing that sound in your mind sounds so And as you're exhaling, the sound is um. and Focus your attention on the movement of your body with your breath in the stomach area, the navel center. There's quite a bit to watch and observe as you're inhaling, the sound is so the movement is that the muscle fibers are lengthening. The stomach is rising. And then there's that turnaround into the exhale. We don't need an endless supply of breath. We need you know, three or four seconds of breath or six or whatever it might be, but it's not 10 minutes of an in-breath. The breath is meant to come in and then come out. So we can really anchor ourselves to that. As we're breathing out, really willing to let go of the out breath. It doesn't actually do us any good now that the oxygen is in our bloodstream. We need to let go of the out breath. And then just that smooth, even rhythm. Your whole body soften. Keep your mind very focused just on the breath, the rhythm of the breath, the feel of it in your body. And as you're finishing the exhale, there's no tightening of your stomach. It just naturally kind of softens and settles. We're resting. Noticing the breath. And if your breath feels quite smooth and continuous, then you could allow it to exhale longer, up to twice as long. Wonderful if we can exhale to at least six seconds. That really activates the relaxation response in the body. The regular inhale, whatever your inhale was, and then no effort at all, letting go into the out breath. And when you're finished your out breath, just let your belly settle a little bit more, maybe another second or two, and then smoothly into the in breath again. Putting aside anything else, we can come back to that again in a few minutes. For now, we have about another three minutes just to focus on this breath. Very firmly focused on the breath. Notice what it feels like in your belly as you breathe out. There's that wonderful softening. Let your breath go and let your body fully relax. Full back of your body can be supported by the floor or the bed. And if you're sitting, you could let your structure 
support your body so you can still relax all through your body. There's nothing else that's more important right now than to follow this rhythm of the breath and let yourself softly relax. Anything that distracts you from this, let it move to the background just for another minute or so. Let your body experience the rest, the softening of your belly as you breathe out that nurturance of the in-breath, the new oxygen that comes in through our lungs, our bloodstream. And whatever the depth is of the softness or the relaxing that you're experiencing right now or you have in the last 20 minutes, If you're worried about somebody else, somebody else's health, see if you can imagine that they are just as relaxed. Their body is settled, their breath is even and smooth. That they too could have a bit of a break. They could enjoy a relaxation, a resting. You could almost memorize this feeling for yourself too. So that later in the day, you could come back to it, take a few breaths and feel into this again. Let your body come back into a more even breath pattern. Smooth and continuous really soft through the belly. In a moment, we're going to finish the practice. It's natural for the mind to go other places when that happens. Start thinking ahead to the day. But set your intention to come back as often as you can, as often as you notice your shoulders are tight or your breathing's gotten a bit shallow, to come back to this. <laughs> 